We've got a, an Albion which is a little bit different from the ones we've seen previously. We wanted to go back in Albion's past, where everything was a little bit more raw, a little bit more wild. It's dark and it's dangerous, and who knows what monsters and strange magic are lurking in there. Albion is not just a, a sunny, sort of forest-filled area with beautiful roses. There's also darker parts to it, and so our characters reflect those darker parts. Born a stranger, die a stranger. You're not sure whether they're good or bad. Each character has their own sort of unique quirks. We're building heroes that play very much like a first-person shooter. Ranged heroes, we're building kind of more traditional RPG heroes. Then we're building magic heroes. And that mixture just gives a lot of variety to different types of players. Who's ready for a little sword play? We're roughly 50-50 split on men and women in the game. We want to let you play with a character that you're going to love. So depending on what heroes you bring, what combinations of heroes you bring, you're getting a really new experience. Four heroes stand. Their fate awaits. You're a team, you know, the four of you, against the villain. Beware, villains. We have come for you. You join a team, a cooperative group of heroes that goes out into the world, out on adventures. How about you and me play heroes and villains? So it is vitally important that you're working together. When you're talking on a headset with your friends or even people you haven't met before, you can let each other know your strategies of, hey, I'm going to call down this ice hailstorm over here. And the next guy's like, OK, great, I'll load my explosive shots and we'll take out all the enemies together. You'll be wading your way through wave after wave of red caps whilst being bombarded by artillery red caps. And you're thinking, it can't get worse than this. And then suddenly, an ogre will start ponderously moving through. We've got a whole cast of heroes, but if you want to be really evil, the villain is the big new thing in Fable Legends. You literally have another perspective. You're looking down on the world from above, commanding kind of armies of creatures, setting up traps for heroes. It's essentially trolling. You're, you're trolling the heroes. trolling people, uh, yeah. And it's excellent. Yeah. <laughs> that is where your fun lies, because it's the combination of ambushes and tricks and devious stratagems that you use to defeat the heroes. Once people get into it, they learn how to play villain. They're kind of addicted to it. <laughs> We're on Windows 10, and that brings us a lovely, massive, great audience on two platforms. Well, now things are going to get interesting. Windows 10 gives us DirectX 12, which allows us to bring you incredibly good-looking graphics. Fable has never looked better. When you're playing on an Xbox, or whether you're playing PC with your friends, or a mix, no matter what platform you play on, everything that you have is shared across them. But I think there will be some competitive energy between the PC players and the Xbox players. Who's better? Finally, a challenge. Now that's going to be interesting to see. You can play as a hero, as a villain, and you, you can play through the series of quests that are available um, without paying a penny. So free to play means anybody can download and install Fable Legends and play the entire game for free. No tricks, no ifs, no buts. We didn't want to sell winning power advantages. We wanted the game to be balanced. Being free to play means that we can launch a game, but continue to add hours and hours of content in the months and even years to follow. Let's get serious. Fable Legends is the biggest, boldest it's ever been before. We want to bring you an experience that's second to none. And you can do it whether you're an Xbox One player or whether you're a Windows 10 user. That's truly cool and something we've not done before with Fable. We're giving you in Fable Legends the ultimate choice. For the honor. Are you going to play on the hero side of the game, or are you going to be the villain and mastermind the game against the heroes? 